Well, hey there, everybody. I'm actually at a station in Miami helping out for a few days and also watching the tropics very closely to see what's going to happen with Invest 99L. We've been watching it for quite a few days. And here's a look at the 24 hour loop. As you can see, we had quite a few showers and storms rumble across Tampa Bay this afternoon. Those showers and storms actually started off as a little bit of uh, convection on the eastern side of the storm right around the uh, eastern Bahamas and all that spread westward and eventually gave Tampa Bay some pretty hefty downpours today and if you notice right around the Bahamas again we're seeing more showers and storms develop and we're going to see that wave approach tomorrow so we're looking at the possibility for some pretty hefty downpours as we move through the next couple of days. Here's a look at the current computer models where they think the center of circulation will be heading with this Invest 99L and fairly decent agreement over the next 48 hours that the storm is going to be moving to the west northwest. Now beyond 48 hours, beyond Monday, whew, the models are off the chart. They are not sure where the storm is going. There's been so much uncertainty with this particular storm and it looks like it is going to continue to be quite uncertain over the next couple of days. So it's going to be kind of a wait and see scenario. Obviously the models that are going more easterly are more concerning for the Tampa Bay area as that would bring us potentially more rain and strong gusty winds as well where the strong or where the storms that are moving northwestward would obviously have very little impact on the Tampa Bay area. Here's the European computer model, normally one of the more trusty models in our selection of models to deal with, but to be honest, the European has been all over the place to the point that I, I really am very slow to trust it because it can't really seem to, to hone on on one model solution. Right now, the European is actually developing a hurricane in the eastern Gulf of Mexico towards the end of the week and moving that potential hurricane all the way up into the Florida Panhandle, maybe even the Mobile area. So again, this is just one model run with the European, but I just wanted to throw that out there. That, that is what that model is predicting. Here's another pretty trusty model most of the time, the RPM model, Rapid Precision Mesoscale model. And as you can see, we move through tomorrow afternoon. We're getting, once again, scattered showers and storms moving from east to west across the Tampa Bay area. Moving towards Monday, once again, scattered showers and storms, some tropical downpours possible, which could be heavy at times, moving across the Tampa Bay area. But nothing that we haven't really dealt with before in the Tampa Bay area. And then on Tuesday, something interesting happens. You can actually see that we're developing a bit of a center of circulation here with this a storm which could possibly be developing into a tropical depression at this point. So the RPM is also predicting the possibility for a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm developing as well. This would be offshore of Tampa but it would bring us a possibility for some heavy downpours right along the coast especially as we move into Tuesday and even into Wednesday as well. Here's one more fairly trusty model. This is a GFS model and this is the latest run that just came out and it is also picking up on a bit of uh, development as well. Uh, you can see where you have the yellow color here. This represents uh, possibly a tropical depression developing in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and then turning more towards the east northeast. So that's something we'll have to watch as well. But the fact that the models are kind of honing in on one solution is a good thing. That means that the models are starting to finally figure out exactly what's happening with this storm system. Either way, no matter what happens with the path, we're looking for the potential for flooding, tropical downpours, moving across the state of Florida. Anywhere basically in Florida, we could see two to four inches of rain over the next couple of days. Some isolated locations could pick up a half a foot or more. So we could see some hefty rainfall totals over the next couple of days. Right now we have Invest 99L. I know you haven't heard a ton about an Invest in the past. Basically, an invest just means the National Hurricane Center is investigating the disturbance. So they're checking into it, but it doesn't have a closed circulation. It's disorganized, so it's not put together enough for it to actually be called a tropical depression. Now, when it's a tropical depression, that means that we have a closed circulation. We have quite a few thunderstorms, and at that point, the National Hurricane Center will start issuing advisories and even a cone for the storm. The next step, if we reach this step, would be a tropical storm. We have a closed circulation. 
We have winds of 39 miles per hour or greater. The storm at this point will be called Tropical Storm Hermine, and if it happens to become a hurricane, it would be Hurricane Hermine with winds of over 74 miles per hour. So obviously hoping that that won't happen, but something we'll continue to watch. Right now it just looks like mainly downpours for the entire state of Florida over the next couple of days. We'll have to watch to see if a low does develop in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and if that low does develop, does it head more into the Mobile area, or does it take a turn more easterly into northern Florida and perhaps impact the Tampa Bay area a bit more? So a couple of things we'll be watching, but that's kind of the latest on what's happening right now. Till then, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.